in my previous video i talked about interaction between the ship and the bank of a narrow channel and the effect it has on the ship handling or the ship maneuvering characteristics today i'll be talking about the interaction between passing ships and the effect it has on the handling of ships when two vessels are maneuvering in close proximity hydrodynamic interaction continues to be the main factor in collisions and hazardous situations situations in which hydrodynamic interaction is involved fall into following categories number 1 vessel attempting to pass one another at a very close range this is usually when they are confined to a narrow channel the second one is when vessels which are maneuvering at very close range with small vessels such as tugs or small supply vessels particularly when there is a small underkeel clearance now let's study what happens in an overtaking situation in an overtaking situation interaction is most dangerous when the vessels are involved in an overtaking maneuver one possible outcome is that the vessel being overtaken may take a sudden shear into the other or the path of the other vessel another possibility is that the vessels are a beam of one another the bow of each vessel may turn away from the bow of the other causing respective sterns to come closer and collide this may be further enhanced by water passing between the vessels at higher speed and causing a suction effect in such cases the smaller vessel feels more turning effect than the bigger vessels now this is shown in the two diagrams especially in diagram 2 you can see how the overtaking situation where vessel 2 may be overtaking vessel 1 and it is happening in a narrow channel where due to the water passing at a high speed along the hull of the vessel the bows are getting repelled from one another but the sterns are getting attracted to one another and this can cause a collision of the sterns a vessel being overtaken should pull herself to one side of the channel after reducing her speed the overtaking vessel should overtake keeping her almost equidistant between the bank and the vessel being overtaken so what happens in a head on encounter in a head on situation the interaction is less likely to have a dangerous effect of generally bows of two vessels will tend to repel each other as they approach however this can indirectly lead to a critical situation if there is already any existing swing in the vessel repelling of bows may either increase or decrease the swing complicating the situation it is essential to maximize the distance as far as possible between the two vessels that meet in a head on situation when the vessels are up in of each other the main danger exists just when the sterns are about to clear away and they get attracted towards each other causing a collision of the sterns to avoid this situation a rudder hard over should be given towards each other as is shown in the diagram below there are two vessels here you can see one is vessel is denoted in the black color and the other vessel is denoted in the blue color who are meeting on head on situation now just when they are a beam in position c a hard over towards the each other should be given so that the stern of each vessel is clear of one another and there is no attraction of the stern leading to a collision in terms of passing distances in overtaking situation at least 7 times the beam of the slower vessel should be maintained in head on situation at least 1 and 1/2 times the beam of the smaller vessel in narrow channels should be maintained in the above diagram of the head on situation in position a both vessels should maintain position in the center of the channel till the vessels are about 4 to 5 ships length rudder hard over to starboard should then be just initiated to turn the vessel i'll give you a recap of the drawing again so that you can have a look at the various positions which are marked by the letters a b c d and e in position b the high pressure between the approaching vessels will automatically repel the bows 
in fact repelling may be so strong that the rudder needs to give hard port to control it in position c vessels are a beam of each other and there is a danger of suction effect between the sterns when passing therefore rudder should be given towards each other in this case hard over to port finally in position d appropriate rudder needs to be given to reposition the vessel in the center of the channel bringing the vessel to the center of the channel in position e before i end the video we must talk about the concept of trapping when one ship overtakes another a further effect of interaction known as trapping may occur during overtaking both vessels experience not only side forces and turning movements but also changes in ahead resistance as overtaking begins the overtaking vessel experiences reduced bow resistance and accelerates ahead at the same time the overtaken ship experiences an increase in resistance and hangs back as the maneuver progresses the opposite occurs the overtaken ship's resistance reduces when she is just behind the overtaking vessel her speed is increased and the speed of the overtaking vessel starts to reduce in extreme cases the overtaking vessel may not be able to complete the overtaking as she is said to be then trapped this teaches us a lesson that when you are overtaking and if sufficient sea room is available keep as much distance between the vessels as it is possible so i hope this video was useful for you to learn about the interaction between passing ships in the situations of overtaking as well as head on and why distances should be maintained between the vessels especially if there is sufficient sea room available otherwise the distances to be maintained in over in a narrow channel are also specified let me know what you thought about this video guys and i'll see you soon with my next video in the topic of ship handling study hard and study uh, well bye guys